One thing we're asked here a lot at the Gloucestershire Gun Company, uh, with such a huge range of air rifles to choose from, the decision can be fairly straightforward between spring gun, pre-charged or gas ram, but which calibre to choose? Uh, of the calibres are commercially available, 177, 20 calibre, 22 and 25 calibre, without a doubt 177 and 22 are the most popular. 25 being mainly used uh, for short range ratting or through firearms guns uh, running at 35 40 foot pounds. Uh, 20 calibre is an interim between 177 and 22, never really got very popular in the UK. So back to 177 and 22. 177, the smaller, lighter, faster pellet, long favoured by target shooters and by field target shooters, uh, long range hunters, and the HFT circuit. And 22, traditionally very popular with hunters, generally from 5 yards to 45, 50 yards for small game hunting uh, with air rifle legal pests. Main difference between the two is size and weight. The 177 being a smaller pellet will always go that little bit further, uh, faster and flatter than its 22 brother because of the fact normally flying at about 800 feet per second, a 22 going at 600 feet per second through an approximately 11 foot pound rifle. Uh, therefore in terms of the physics, you get a flatter parabolic trajectory curve with the 177 as against a more pronounced, more rainbow-like trajectory curve with the 22. Now, from the hunter's perspective, this makes the 177 a lot easier to use on longer range targets as opposed to the 22 because it's easier to place that pellet accurately because of that flatter trajectory. We'll look at a couple of diagrams in just a moment to describe how that works. In reality and in practice, uh, if you're hunting from 5 yards, say rats, to 25-30 yards, 2-2 is a very good choice. Uh, it offers a lot of uh, impact, a lot of shock, doesn't over penetrate the target as much as the 177. Uh, hunting uh, and certainly longer range target work beyond 25-30 yards, the 177 is very very popular. Uh, we'll look now at a couple of trajectory charts, charts which hopefully will show you the key differences between these two pellets and how they relate to you when you're in the field either hunting or target shooting whether it be FT, HFT or having fun in the garden. Okay so what have I drawn here? What we've basically got is the parabolic trajectory of a 2-2 over 50 metres in relation to the 177, again over 50 metres. Uh, the larger 2-2 pellet requires more holdover and therefore greater elevation compensation at your chosen zero point. Uh, this is 25 yards, the centre point here, 25 metres. Uh, in comparison to the 177, which is really less than half the amount. So on, say, with a 25 metre zero, on, say, a bunny rabbit as your target, as the range increases out beyond 25 metres to 35, 40 metres, with a 2-2, you're probably placing the crosshair uh, on, say, that 35 yard rabbit somewhere just towards the top of the, of the rabbit's head, the kill line being in a straight line back from the eye down from the ear, so holding over just at the top of the skull, whereas with a 177, only a small amount of pellet drop, so maybe just a little bit, probably an inch or so of holdover uh, to compensate for the fall of that pellet. So at longer range, you tend to find that the smaller 177, as against its 2-2 uh, brother, is easier to drop accurately and confidently into that vital kill zone uh, at the back of a, of a rabbit's skull. Do bear in mind, at short range, a 2-2 pellet, certainly in a flat head, offers a much more uh, energy impact and transfer than its smaller 177 brother because of the fact it, it slows down more quickly because of its increased surface area. 
impacting more shock into your intended target. The 177 at too short range, say with rats for instance, can actually travel straight through without imparting the energy into the quarry, which is what you want to achieve. Is, uh, so choose your calibre to match the range you're going to be using uh, the, the, the pellet over and the intended quarry.